quick news break with yours truly, Mr. Taylor Farrell, SZA. Where you at, darling? SZA. A lot of fans are looking for that follow-up album after that classic, in my opinion, that Control album that SZA delivered to us. What? That's like, what, two, three years old now? Uh, the fans are starting to, uh, you know, ask that question. SZA, where you at? You dropping new music soon? SZA has remained relatively low since her tour and everything ended with her last project. Well, SZA made a couple of announcements on social media. Whenever she does decide to drop new music, it will not be with promotion via interviews and photos. As SZA let the world know that she is done. She tweeted out, I'm not doing any more video interviews or photos for the rest of my life. LOL, don't ask. Shout out to Normani and Meg, though. My sisters who I love very much and respect deeply. Honored to be a part of anything with those two uh, black queens. She went on to say, my anxiety has 3% to do with outside opinion. I was bullied all through high school. I could care less. It's my own thoughts that hit different. Uh, this comes after uh, somebody hit SZA and was like, damn, I love you, but why it seems like all the new celebs got anxiety out the ass? What's that? What's going on? SZA said, LOL, new? Celebs been out here dying of addiction and depression for decades. Be glad people are talking to each other and sharing rather than hiding. Also, everybody dying on TV and the government broke the fourth wall. Pretty sure everyone's fed up right now. I definitely understand where SZA's coming from. It's, it's a crazy world we're living in where you cannot trust anyone. You know, a lot of people are going to hit me with the, yo, you you clown Summer Walker. You you went at Summer Walker heavy for the way she treated people. No, Scissors and Summer Walker situations are both very differently. Both, first off, they're both phenomenal talents that put out great music. Scissors' situation is, I don't want to do press interviews. But when I get on that stage, when I deliver music, I'm still going to deliver for my fans. And if I perform... Sis is actually one of the most graceful performers I've ever seen. She gives her fans a great show. We're talking about two totally different things here. Summer Walker seems like she hates everybody. Sis seems like she hates being around people. It gives her anxiety. I think those are two totally different things. One person just hates being alive, and the other person actually hates being in areas with a lot of people that she doesn't know and she doesn't trust. Two totally different concepts. I'm looking forward to new music from SZA. So to Kodak Black, the Project Baby is still fighting for his freedom. Uh, one of his homies, Jack Boy, obviously following Pop Smoke's death. He wants to know what's the infatuation with following an artist after they die. And I've, I've had this uh, myself, this question. Why do y'all want to follow artists after they die? As Pop Smoke has gained hundreds of thousands of followers after he was killed earlier this morning. Here's Jack. Nigga, die. Soon as you die, now you got all type of millions of followers. What? How when you die? Why y'all want to follow people when they die? Like, why not follow me when I'm posting shit? Why when I'm here, when I'm posting shit on my page every day, going on live, doing all my little extracurricular shit, why you don't follow a nigga then? Huh? But as soon as a nigga die, you know ain't nothing getting posted on this page no more. That's when you want to follow me. You want to follow me to see me not post? But fuck, nigga, I've been posting, doing all type of extracurricular for y'all. Nah, y'all don't want to. Nah, man, fuck them people, man. I skin them motherfuckers. I skin them motherfuckers. Nigga on they page, doing all type of shit. Nigga got to do some push-ups and they snip it to make you motherfuckers put a fire emoji. <laughs> yeah, I only could come up with one, one conclusion with why people would like to follow people after their... Uh, going maybe you want to just enjoy some of those images but my thing is if you really want to see someone's image uh just go to their page why why y'all follow people who are no longer here that's just such a weird it's just so weird being on social media in 2020 like when pop smoke was gone it's so weird that we was able to still get on his instagram story and see posts like from hours ago right like dang like bro, bro was just here hours ago it's such a weird time you know and i just can't believe like I don't follow people once they pass away. That's not my thing. I get it because they're going and they're the, the biggest story of the day. People are on your mind. But I've always thought that was such a weird concept. I agree with Jack, but why do y'all show that love when people are going? I'm not saying you got to show that love while they're there. But why do you go out of your way to follow people once they're gone? I've never understood that concept. 
So quick news break with yours truly, Mr. Telefero. I'm out. I came from nothing, but I want everything God has for me. I interview celebrities. I talk sports. I still represent the culture. Hey, God, the kids, they tuned in. Tuned in. We locked in right now, Mr. Telefero. Mr. Telefero. Telefero. Shout out to Mr. Telefero. You watching Mr. Telefero TV. Mr. Telefero TV.